again, story time friends. Um, here to read a story to you, and we'll start like we always do with our beginning song. So get your hands ready. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And today I'm going to read a book called Goodnight Gorilla. And it's written by Peggy Raffman. It's about a zookeeper who thinks that he's saying good night to all the animals in the zoo, but something else is happening. You have to pay attention. There's not a lot of words in this book. So it starts with the zookeeper saying, good night, gorilla. And I'm just going to put the zookeeper up here. And the gorilla. Look. You look closely what the gorilla is doing. He's taking the zookeeper's keys. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Also, there's a little mouse in this story right here. I'm going to put the little mouse up here. The zookeeper goes on to the other cages, but it sure looks like the gorilla took the keys and opened up his own cage. And he's following the zookeeper, him and the little mouse. The zookeeper says, good night, elephant. Good night, elephant. And good night, lion. And the gorilla still has the keys and he's opening up all the cages as the zookeeper thinks that he's locking them up. The gorilla is unlocking them. He says, good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe. Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe. Good night, armadillo. Good night, armadillo. Doo -doo -doo. Off he goes. He walks home thinking that he's locked everybody up for the night, but they're all following him out of the zoo and into the zookeeper's home. Here they are walking through his home. And he's over on the side of the bed, taking off his shoes. Looks like his wife is in bed sleeping. All the animals are in the bedroom as well. And the wife says, good night, dear. But then, Someone says, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Uh-oh, somebody woke up. And it's his wife. She's wondering who said all those good nights, and she sees the animals, so she marches them back to the zoo, puts them to bed for the night. She says, good night, zoo. But it looks like someone is following her. Two things are following her, a gorilla and a little mouse. 
she says, good night, dear, and he says, good night. See the gorilla sliding into bed. And the little mouse says, good night, gorilla. And the gorilla says, it's snoring already. They're already asleep. And that's the end. It's kind of a fun story. Um, so I thought that I have a really simple craft for you guys this week. Um, it just involves, uh, do you remember the page when she woke up and there was a bunch of, she was wondering what was happening? Thought maybe you could make that page if you have some wiggly eyes at home or some paper reinforcers if you don't have any of that you can just have your grown-up maybe cut out a bunch of white circles and glue stick them together and then you could draw the eyeballs on and it's kind of cute because it doesn't matter what side you have it on it still looks like a bunch of critters waking up very very cute if you do that, please send it in and I'll be glad to post it. I also put on a, a link on this post to uh, uh, a site that gives you tons of um, activities that go with Goodnight Gorilla. There are animal cards. You can print them to do a matching game or memory game. There are beginning letter and sound cards. There are activities about which animal is different. Um, there's number games, there's all sorts of activities on the link if you'd like to look at that. And it's got all different levels so you can decide what you want to do with that. But very cute story. Um, so we'll end it there and let's end it with our goodbye song. So put up your hand, we'll say, we'll sing. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends.